So here we have the greatest integer function. This is also known as, on Desmos, the floor of x. It actually shows the graph. This is also known as the floor of x. It looks like this with a square bracket. And the key to memorizing this graph is to know that it starts at 0. It's a solid dot at 0. And it goes one unit to the right. And it's a solid line there. And it's actually a hollow circle there. And then you step up upwards. So again, it's a whole hollow circle. You step up, one up, one to the right. And this is level 2, this is 2, this is 3. And you can build a staircase here. This is hollow to the left. And then you can go to the left here and then hollow. So this is the way the graph works here. Now in this case, the question is asking for the limit as you approach 2 from the left. Now be careful, this is not negative 2. This is actually a positive 2. So we're going to go boink, boink. So we're focusing on here, 2, from the left. So from the left, we're sliding this way. And as you get very, very close, but not quite at the hole, the limit is 1. That's the y value. So this one, the answer here would be a 1. So make sure you're not on the wrong step. If this was a plus sign, the answer would be 2, because you're sliding from the right. OK, so this is the uh, second limit problem here. And what we have here is the base function, absolute value of x over x, and multiplied by 2. So somehow the answer is going to be multiplied by 2. Now it's good to memorize absolute value of x over x as a normal graph that either is going to be positive 1. Now, you can't divide by 0. So this is going to be a hollow circle here. And then it's going to be a hollow circle here because x can't be equal to 0. And this here is going to be positive 1, this is going to be negative 1. Now this here is not the answer. This here is your standard function f of x equals absolute value of x over x. Now think about why. Case 1, the absolute value is going to drop. So the definition of absolute value of x is going to be either x, in which x is greater or equal to 0, or it's going to be negative x when x is less than 0. So the first case is literally we're going to ignore the absolute value signs. So x divided by x becomes 1. That's why we have a y value of 1 here. Case 2, we're going to basically drop the absolute value signs and we're going to put a negative sign in front of it. So when you're focusing on absolute value of x over x, case 2, it's going to be negative x divided by x, which would be negative 1. So for negative x values on the left-hand side, it's going to be uh, this answer over here. Now when you have a 2 here, think function transformations, 2 times a graph is going to be twice as tall. So the actual answer is going to be hollow circle. It's going to be positive 2. And then we have a, a negative 2 on the bottom here. So this is the graph. If this was a negative 2, everything would be flipped because that would be another transformation. Now that we sketch this function, we should actually answer the question. What is the limit as x approaches 3? So let's focus here. This is going to be positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. As x approaches 3, what is the y value? The y value is up here, and the limit is going to be 2. The answer is going to be 2.